continue our understanding of the derivative by comparing differentiability and continuity. Very important concepts in calculus. Let's begin by looking at an alternative definition for the derivative. We're going to take f prime of x equals the limit as x approaches c of f of x minus f of c divided by x minus c. We could come just from the left hand side, then we would have the derivative from the left, and x would approach c from the negative side. Or we could approach c from the positive side, then we have the derivative from the right. If f is differential at x equals c, then f is automatically continuous at x equals c. However, the converse is not true. If we know it's continuous, we do not know it is in fact differentiable. Let's look at the equation f of x equals x to the two-thirds at x equals zero. Here's a graph of what we have. We want to decide is it continuous, and it appears not to have to pick up our pencil. What about derivative? We also want to analyze the derivative, which has to do with the slope of the curve. So let's begin by limit of f of x as x approaches c. So we're going to take the limit of x to the two-thirds as x approaches zero. So if we fill in a zero and take the limit, we wind up with zero coming from both the left and the right. So it is in fact going to be continuous. However, let's continue by analyzing the derivative f prime of zero and let's use the, our, our alternative definition the limit of f of x minus f of 0 over x minus 0 as x approaches 0. So we're going to take the limit of x to the 2 thirds. f of 0, if we put 0 into our equation, we get 0 divided by x minus 0 as x approaches 0. And let's see what happens to this expression. So we wind up with the limit, and this can be simplified to 1 over x to the 1 third. Now let's look at this first from the left hand side by taking the limit as x approaches 0 from the negative side of 1 over x to the 1 third. Notice we're going to take 1 over a very very small negative number so we're going to wind up with negative infinity as our limit. Let's analyze this limit from the right hand side. Let's we consider positive values of x that are very very close to 0. So we have 1 over a very, very small positive number, so we have positive infinity. Because the limits from the two sides are not the same, this particular function does not have a derivative at x equals 0. And a way to make this decision is notice if we take the slopes along here, we wind up with a vertical slope. And this causes a serious problem when this occurs.